Hi everybody, Carol here. Today I'm going to be making another impossible card. That's Nature, Sunburst, Vacation, Galoshes and Raindrops. At least that's what I've named them. And these are the impossible cards in the from the past if you want to go back and look at them on my channel. And that's what makes it impossible and interactive. I like to make mine interactive where the recipient can twist and turn the card and uh, see different ways that it works. Now I make a 5x7 card and it fits perfectly into an A7 envelope for mailing. No problem. Now by the 5x7 I make it landscape and I'm going to show you this is just a piece of copy paper. I made some little templates to show 1 and 3 fourths inches for the tabs at the top across I mean from the edge and 3 and a half inches for the bottom that is the half of course of 7 inches and they meet at two and a half inches in the middle which is half of five for five by seven. You make three cuts toward the center two and a half inch. Now I've transferred those lines off to a piece of cardstock and I'm going to score just between the tabs. I'm just getting the line started there at two and a half but I'm not putting any pressure till I get to the middle. And then I will cut the um, what I call tabs and then the center of the bottom layer. The tree set that I'm using here is called Trendy Trees and I'll need a stamp positioner because this is a layered stamp set and uh, I'll do the tree trunks. There are about four or five of those. and I mean uh, tree tops and then tree trunks. There are two of them and I'll be using these in different colors from yellows to oranges different oranges on the top and two different browns for the tree trunks. So in case you've never used a stamp positioner and uh, I'm sure you could use a MISTI in this case, I like being able to slide that acetate sheet around to where I can see where my stamped image will go exactly and I'll uh, show you more of that in a minute. But you stamp in the corners and go straight down up against that handle. The acetate sheet goes right up against that handle also. And that's one corner. I'll put a tree trunk in the other corner and then uh, another tree trunk in another corner and another tree top in another corner. It gets to the point where I have to wipe one of them off uh, in order to put the other tree tops up there, but that's okay. So um, I'm just doing a sample here so you can see it up close, how, the, uh, how it works. Uh, you line it up again with the handle move it out of the way, go straight down right up against the edge of that and then I'll go back and fill in the tree trunk and I had the wrong tree trunk so I had to get the second tree trunk stamp it up real quick and then I will slide it. One has like two branches, the other has I think four branches or maybe, I'm not quite sure. So um, I'm going to pull it up close so you can see how that brown uh, slips right into the slots of the orange and uh, it doesn't always work perfect, but it's 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 a nice look, and uh, of course you could always go back and touch it up with a colored pencil or a marker. But that's the way it works. So I'm going to transfer it onto my cardstock. I will have these trees going all across the top. The right hand side will have to flip in order to stamp on that because it will it is it, part of the impossible card, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm lining these up, doing the tree trunk. Now I'm going to the middle section and I'm only going to do one more because it's too tedious to make you have to sit and look at this but um, it's a nice look. You don't have to do it this way. You could do a tree outline and go back and color it in or you could use um, an ink pad for the tree top and a marker for the trunk or you could do a silhouette, black silhouette. There's so many ways you could do it but I do like this look. And uh, so I was willing to, I'm willing to do this every once in a while. And uh, so anyway, now in order to get the trees all the way across the top, I have to flip the card. And that is why this is the impossible card. When you line those top edges up and erase any marks you made, and then line up the bottom and uh, just uh, give it a good smush there so it'll be nice and, and creased that makes that centerpiece pop up and it doesn't look as if it could be from one sheet of paper. 
but that's what why it's called the impossible card so I'm pulling out some markers here and just doing a little bit of shading little adding a little extra color to kind of make all the colors go together don't have to do that at all by any means and um, then you could use a wheel and uh, that's another way of doing trees just do a wheel and go across there that's not the correct wheel that's a jumbo wheel but uh, just to show you what a wheel uh, the idea so now I'm going to make some grass and I'm really sped this up because I have grass in several different locations I'm using three different colors of ink I don't want it on that tab over there because again remember when you flip it that will be the underneath side that probably sits on the tabletop so I'm only doing uh, the um, first two-thirds you might say of the card it's not that it's not exactly that but you know what I mean leaving that uh, flip part off I'm going to do the second row of grass and then go down to the bottom and then where that cut is I'll put up my scrap sheet of paper again for a border to keep me from stamping onto the other side and um, put different pieces of grass now when I flip it I'll have to do the same thing I'll have to block off the left hand side and put some grass down there three different colors ink green and uh, as tall as you want them to be as thick as you want it to be and down at the bottom and there's even another place that I put them now I'm going to use this um, idea of two pieces of cardstock cut the same height but the second color I take to the trimmer and just cut strips randomly no measuring just strips of paper and then glue them together I did this on another card and I love that look and uh, then I'm going to take the scraps that I used to make the grass and cut off some extra very very thin little strips and put them as kind of a um, base for the colored striped paper the dog stamp set is called man's best friend and I'm going to stamp them all but I'm only going and I'm going to cut most of them out but I'm only going to stamp one that dachshund onto the actual paper and um, so I'm showing you the stamp set there and these are the I uh, did some extras to show you the different colors and uh, there's the hydrant there are the dogs all in black everything in black if you want a silhouette look um, I like making extras because you never know what you're going to do with them now the dachshund I'm going to stamp directly under the paper so I'm practicing a little bit to see the color we have a grand dog that's a long-haired dachshund that is that red color and so I'm going to stamp it in the center section put down my hydrant my fire hydrant that I've already cut out put another tab to show where that center piece ends so I know exactly where to place the dachshund and that's why I like this acetate sheet you can uh, move it around and see exactly where you want to place that image and I kind of play around with it a little bit and uh, stamp it and hold it down just maybe a minute to be sure that ink transfers and um, it works really well now I will flip that back put my other striped paper back down I just didn't I wanted to have a, a flat surface to do that stamping I didn't want this to interfere because it is a bumpy surface there textured now there is another little dog that I think is a chihuahua but our other grand dog we have two girl grand dogs and uh, she's somewhere between the she's bigger than a chihuahua but um, she's still a small dog and then I have the large dog in brown I will change that in a minute I'm putting down a little piece of black cardstock here that I will put the saying on top that comes in the set and it says bark 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 happy we're friends now just to show you can always touch all of this up with colored pencils if you want your grass taller or more filled in if you want to draw a base line down at the bottom to really ground that grass anything you want to do I'm taking the brown dog away putting the black because I just like that color better on this card and uh, then I even had some matching pencils to go back and do a little bit of shading on the dogs and color in some of the blacks 
dogs uh, that maybe if any splotchy look feel free to do that I took a white jelly roll pen and uh, did their eyes now on the underneath side that will be flipped back I'll put a piece of the yellow cardstock and cut out three of the little barks bark 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 and the black dog and flipped it back so that the centerpiece pops up and there you have it I think anybody would love this um, card adult or child or anybody who who likes dogs and one more thing I did was I pulled out a, a wheel that um, does dog paw prints and I'll show you that in a minute but this is what it's like uh, flipping it all the way around you can see all the different elements there and uh, bright and colorful and you could use any color scheme you wanted to it would be a lot of fun also I originally made it with just the silhouette black uh, animals and hydrant and I even have one uh, still shot at the end of the stripes on that one so you know maybe you like that look better maybe you want to color the sky in just you know make it your own and uh, and have fun with it so um, it's got some great ideas um, when they do the um, there's the wheel with the paw prints and I cut one little paw print out and put it up there on top of the other little doggy so that's it thank you so much for joining me I'm going to do a very very fast brush lettering of a little saying about dogs I hope you enjoy and thank you for joining me there'll be some more videos you might want to look at at the end and a subscribe button bye for now